A common question I get uh, for FX Launcher is uh, how can you customize the update UI? And up until now, the only thing you could do is uh, set some basic styling properties in your application manifest. But today we introduce a new feature that allows you to completely customize how the update UI looks. So this is the old UI. You, you've got this uh, indeterminate uh, progress indicator while the manifest was loading and then you would get this uh, progress bar while uh, the updates were downloading so what we introduce now is uh, something called the uh, ui provider that's a, a quite simple interface with the four methods uh, the first one is called init and it will receive the stage that you can create your ui in you don't necessarily need to use this method, but you can, uh, for example, use that to add the style sheet or, or, or uh, configure the stage in any way you like. Then the next method is uh, create loader. And here you're supposed to return a node that will be the, the loader screen. And uh, let's compare that to this one. This is the loader screen. This will be the updating screen later on. So basically you can create any node you want here and uh, when the manifest is loaded and it's time to show progress then the create updater method will be called then the manifest is available so it will be passed in if you want to use some properties from the manifest after that the up update progress uh, function will be called whenever there is progress to report and a typical use case would then be to update uh, the progress indicator that you created in the create updater step I have set up a small sample. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, called FX Launcher Custom UI, and uh, it basically contains uh, a, a simple implementation of this uh, interface. It's called Custom Launcher UI here. Uh, so let's look briefly at that. In init, I uh, add a style sheet. In the create loader uh, function, I uh, create a, a simple UI uh, and I assign the root of that UI to, uh, a, fun uh, to a variable in this class. Then I add some labels and uh, I return this uh, vbox as the root object. Uh, later on, when the create updater is called, I actually reuse the same uh, vbox. So uh, you can see here in the bottom that it uh, just returns the same VBOX, but it adds something to it. It adds a progress bar and it removes a label. And there is also a timeline playing a, a small animation on the scale XY properties of, uh, of one of the labels. We'll get back to how this looks. Now in the update progress uh, function, I simply just set the progress to whatever uh, value is passed in. So let's uh, open this in uh, IntelliJ. This is the same class. Um, now to test this before we embed this inside FX Launcher, uh, we would like to test it manually. So uh, I've prepared two small classes that uh, is actually a, a full application, a JavaFX application. So it creates a stack pane and a scene and assigns the stack pane as the root of the scene. Then I manually implement or um, create um, uh, the custom launcher UI and call in it manually. Uh, the first thing we do then is to create the loader, uh, uh, the loader UI, add it to the stack pane, and then show the stage, just so we can see uh, the UI we created. And it's quite simple, but it's different than what you get by default. So this is how it looks. So for the, um, uh, the updater, it does about the same, but here I call create loader first because in, in my custom implementation, um, I actually just create the interface in the loader function and then reuse the same in the updater function. And I pass in an empty manifest just to, to be able to test this and, and see how it looks. So this is basically how it looks. Since uh, update progress is not called on this one, it just uh, keeps looking like an indeterminate progress bar, but that would change uh, once this is used inside the application. So how would we go about 
getting FX Launcher to, to use this? Well, uh, this uh, functionality is uh, provided via the service loader, a standard mechanism uh, in Java to uh, discover classes. So inside your project, you have to um, to create a, a directory called metainf and another directory called services. And inside there, you create a, a file called fxlauncher.uiprovider. And in this file, you're just going to reference uh, the implementation class. So basically, it's just a fully qualified name of your UI class. Um, I also have a, a style sheet in here. And uh, I remember, I, I, I loaded that in the init method. So what I want to do now is, um, while I build the launcher for a specific application, I would like to embed all of these files, actually the build files, so in the target classes folder. I would like the, the class uh, file of the UI and this uh, UI provider service uh, function and the style sheet. I would like those embedded inside the FX launcher. Actually, in the same way you would embed the uh, application manifest inside the launcher. So to show how you can do that, uh, I have uh, opened the FXL uh, demo. This one is available on GitHub as well. And uh, this one uh, on GitHub does not use a custom UI. This is just uh, to show how to use uh, FX Launcher. Uh, but we're going to augment that by adding um, one more step uh, to the um, embedding stage. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the jar command inside the application there. And then we're going to reference the launcher jar. And I'm going to change to the directory where I have the, the classes for the custom uh, launcher. And uh, say that we want all the classes, uh, all the files in that folder in, embedded into the FX launcher jar. So it's kind of the same way that we uh, embed the app XML. So you, you would have this from before, and you would add this block. And uh, I added this code inside, let's see, here. So you can find it. This would be different if you, if you don't use Maven, of course. If you use Gradle, then we will probably add this uh, to the Gradle plugin. For now, you would have to do it manually in much the same way as this. So uh, the FXL project is quite small, so it will start really fast. So to be able to see this UI, I'm going to uh, pretend that I have a, a very bad network connection. Let's go to the FXL project where I have this uh, step. But right now, I have actually built it with, without it. So um, let's see, where are we? Oh, I'm already in here. So uh, I'm just going to start uh, the FX launcher. And you will see the default UI. And this is what we want to change, right? So to change that, we should just uh, be able to, to build one more time. And now this step will be run after we embed the app XML. We will also embed all the files from this uh, uh, custom launcher UI that we created. So let's go into target app again and run the launcher. Actually, I think we should, yeah, let's try it. Let's see. So we got the first screen and the second, but it was too fast because I already had uh, these files downloaded in the cache there. So let me just remove these. And we can run again. And that's how easy it is to create a completely custom update UI for FX Launcher. Hope you enjoyed it.